Hey guys, Wet Movie One back here again for another Blu-ray DVD update video for you guys today. Got a big old stack of goodies here to talk to you guys about today. I also got this package in the mail, which I'm going to unbubble at the end of this video. It's something very cool I ordered off eBay, or you know I, I bid on it on eBay and stuff like that. And I'm going to be unbubbling this at the end of the video, so check out my big eBay unboxing at the end of this video. Just make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up if you guys support my videos. First up here from Shout Factory. I'm very excited about talking about this one for you guys today because I've been a big fan of these films ever since I was in high school and that is Eddie and the Cruisers and Eddie and the Cruisers Eddie Lives here on Blu-ray for the very first time in a double feature pack. If you guys have never seen Eddie and the Cruisers before, um, it's pretty much about this uh, really popular rock and roll band in the 1960s and uh, the, the leader of this band, Eddie and the Cruisers, Eddie Wilson you know, drives his car off a thing and right into a right into the water and dies, supposedly. And this movie takes place a little bit into the future, you know, following the band that that are the bandmates that are still around now and what they're doing and how their the Eddie and the Cruisers music is still popular than ever. And there's this reporter that's out there trying to interview the bandmates that are still around and asking them, you know, about Eddie and what happened and, you know, what what what's going on with these lost tapes. You know what I mean? Because Eddie uh, Eddie Wilson, the leader of the of the group, recorded some music that's never been heard before, and they don't know where those tapes are, and it's just you know, them trying to figure out, you know, where they are and where they could be and stuff like that. I've always really liked this movie just because of the music. You know what I mean? It also stars Tom Berenger, who you guys all know from the Substitute movie that came out back in the day, which was kind of like a, you know, like a ripoff of Dangerous Minds in a way, but a little bit cooler. He, he's he's one of the stars of the first Eddie and the Cruisers movie. You also get Joe Padigliano. But I've always liked Eddie and the Cruisers 2 the most. Because, it, if, you know, it takes place a couple years after the first one. And uh, Eddie lives. You know what I mean? Eddie Wilson's still around, as you can tell by the title, because it's self-explanatory. Eddie lives. And it's just him struggling with the the success of everything of his music and everything like that and how he's went into hiding for all these years and how he's trying to you know figure out what he's going to do with his life I, I've always really liked it but uh, I, I would say get this get this blu-ray set here guys the blu-ray picture quality is is really good a lot better than the DVD that I had back in the day of these ones and you also get some bonus interviews on here by producers and uh, some one or two of the stars of the flick just talking about the movie like vintage kind of interviews which was kind of interesting and of course you get the theatrical trailer on here, but if you're a fan of Eddie and the Cruisers movies, I just want to let you guys all know you can get the double pack out now from Shout Factory. All right, guys. And next up from the Criterion Collection is Hoop Dreams here on Blu-ray. Uh, this has always been one of my favorite documentaries of all time in my top five. Uh, I gotta say. And uh, if you guys have never seen Hoop Dreams before, it's it's a documentary that follows these two young boys that live in the inner city of Chicago, and uh, they they both have this dream of wanting to be in the NBA and love basketball with all their hearts, and that's what they that, that's just what they want to do. And these and these couple of these filmmakers follow these two young boys. Arthur Ag and William Gates uh, through their freshman year of high school to through their freshman year of college and, sh and just show their lives and how they're trying to achieve their dreams and things like that in this documentary. Um, I've always really liked it. It's always been a really well done documentary in my opinion because it's not really all about basketball. The, what I like about this documentary is that it, it follows the lives of these boys and their families and how their families are struggling to get by trying to keep you know a roof over their head and food in their mouths while their kids are like going to these these you know you know these big kind of you know schools where they have to pay money you know for their education and one of them doesn't have to because has a scholarship but the other one has to and he has you know the parents are struggling trying to get by and trying to figure out you know how they're going to keep their son in this school so he can you know achieve his dreams yet one of their parents has like this drug addiction and is going around you know buying drugs and you know beating up his mom and like there's all this crazy stuff that happens in this documentary. Even Siskel and Ebert back in the day really praised this film and I can really see why. I've owned the DVD back in the day and everything like that but on this uh, Blu-ray here you get an all new transfer of the film. It looks beautiful here on Blu-ray. You also get all the same special features that came 
on the original DVD that Criterion put out back in the day. Also, a brand new 40-minute uh, documentary on the film, uh, which which follows the families and the boys uh, about 10 years after the after the Hoop Dreams movie came out, and uh, what they're doing today, and how their lives have progressed since the film, and how their lives have changed since the original Hoop Dreams came out. And I found that documentary to be very compelling, especially since I've always loved the the Hoop Dreams documentary itself that came out back in the early 90s, just to you know get an update and see what what they're doing today. I thought that was just an amazing thing that the Criterion put together for this uh, release here. I was just very, very happy with it. But if you're a fan of Hoop Dreams, even if you have never heard about this movie before, I highly recommend it. It's one of the best documentaries I've ever seen. But that's Hoop Dreams here on Blu-ray. All right, guys, and next up from Warner Brothers is something else I'm very excited to talk about today, and that is Batman vs. Robin here on Blu-ray. This is the limited edition gift set, which comes with a cool Batman figure with it. Uh, if you guys don't know what Batman and Robin is, uh, this one right here is Batman vs. Robin. And in this one, Robin is actually uh, Damian, Wa Damian Wayne, uh, you know, Batman's son. And he's taking the role of uh, Robin now and going out there fighting crime on the city of Gotham to help out his father and stuff like that that but one day as they're out there fighting crime on this one crime scene Robin sees this one dark figure you know lurking about this guy named Talon and he kind of recruits Robin you know to try to maybe work for him to you know help him out on his mission because he works for this uh, other group called what are they called again the Court of Owls and uh, Robin is kind of like a teen like a young boy now he's kind of rebelling against Batman he kind of wants to you know this break away from his father's, you know, his father's grasp. You know, like what teenagers do, they kind of just rebel against their parents. And he kind of goes under the wing of this guy named Talon and just the craziness that he sees. And then he fight, he has to fight his dad to figure out what he's going to do. You know, is he going to stay with his father, you know, Batman fighting crime the good way or fighting crime the bad way with this the guy named Talon? Um, I found this one to be kind of cool. You know what I mean? It's 80 minutes long. It, it kind of moved along very nicely. I've always liked the character of Batman ever since, you know, Michael Keaton played him back in the day. Like that... Michael Keaton is my favorite Batman. I know people love, you know, the Dark Knight ones and stuff like that with Christian Bale, but those ones are cool. But my, my Batman, you know, is is Michael Keaton to be honest. But uh, this one is right. This one right here is kind of cool. Like I said, it comes with a toy. It also comes with a handful of, uh, you know, Warner Brothers. Uh, you know, Batman uh, cartoons from the from back in the day. Also, some Justice League cartoons from the Vault or something that is what they like to call it on here. But if you're a fan of Batman and their their, their animated series that that come out on DVD on Blu-ray recently, definitely give this one a chance. This one was actually kind of cool. All right, guys, and next up over here, very excited to talk about this one here. Been a big fan of her her films for years ever since I watched a couple of them with my mom and dad back in the day. And that is Dor the Doris Day Essential Collection here on DVD. Uh, uh, this set here features 15 of her of her of her films here. Even her film debut, Romance Romance on the High Seas. Here it comes in this this cool little set here with two you know different uh, you know packs in there, which is very well very well put together. If you guys don't know anything about Doris Day, she was this very popular uh, singer songwriter actress from the 1930s up until like 19. What was it like? Sixty nine was when she when she left the business, but she was ranked one of the top Hollywood money earners, you know, of, of her day. Like between the early from the early sixties, and even in two thousand nine, there, there had this another list that came out when she was ranked like number nine top money earners of all time when it comes to being in films. And uh, I, I, I just found it to be very interesting. And she just celebrated her ninety her ninety first birthday part her ninety first birthday uh, this year. So if you're a fan of her. Definitely check out this cool essential collection here. Like I said, the set comes with uh, Romance on the High Seas, The Dream is Yours, It's a Great Feeling, Tea for Two, Lullaby of, Lullaby, Lullaby of Broadway, on, Mo on Moonlight Bay, April in Paris, and a handful of others here. Very, very cool. But yeah, guys, I just want to let you guys all know that the essential collection of Doris Day is out now. Make sure you guys check it out. If you guys love musicals, if you guys, you know, love singing and dancing, especially like 60s style, 
you guys will definitely give, get, get a kick out of this. Because I've always kind of loved movies like that, to be honest. But uh, that's the Central Film Collection here of Doris Day. Alright guys, next up from Sony is The Wedding Ringer here on DVD, starring Kevin Hart and Kelly Kokoro from The Big Bang Theory. Uh, in this movie, Kevin Hart plays this best man for hire. Like, if anybody, you know, needs a best man for their wedding and they don't have, like, a friend or something, he's a guy that will be there for you if you give him enough cash. And in this movie, there's this guy named Doug. He's down on his luck. He's about to... He doesn't have really, really have any friends, but he's, his wedding is two weeks away. He's going to get married to the most beautiful woman in the world. He, he needs a best man and he ends up hiring Kevin Hart and them coming together to try to put on this big scam um, I thought this movie was kind of Kind kind of funny when I when I first saw it in the theater. Um, I I didn't rank it very high or anything like that because it's just one of those ones like you just watch for the hell of it. You don't you don't you don't watch it. You don't go into it thinking it's gonna be some big masterpiece or anything like that. Um, Kevin Hart is kind of sort of always the same in all the movies that he does, but I I kind of like him. You know what I mean? I I think he has some charm, but it it it, it is a light and funny kind of film. Anybody can pretty much go watch it and just have a good time with it if you don't take it too seriously. Because, you know, if you think about it, like if, you, if this guy, Doug, is getting married to somebody, why wouldn't his wife know if he has any friends or not? You know what I mean? Like, you're not, she doesn't, she, she wouldn't know that already kind of thing. I don't know. If you, if you think about it too much, it, you know, it, it ruins things. But this DVD here has audio commentary tracked by the director and a feature of, you know, making a featurette on here. But if you like the movie and you guys like kind of like light and fluffy, stupid comedies, check out The Wedding Ringer. I thought it was kind of fun. All right. You know what I mean? But not as cool as this next one here from Anchor Bay. I really, really loved it. It stars Amy Adams and Christoph Waltz. It's also directed directed by Tim Burton, one of my favorite one of my favorite directors ever. And this is his new film called Big Eyes here on Blu-ray. Uh, this movie is based on a true story of, of, of this famous painter named uh, you know Keane, who uh, this lady, Martha King, who uh, painted these paintings back in the 50s of these children, these orphan children with big eyes and holding kittens and things like that. And th these paintings got really you know popular and you know famous back in the day. But yet she got married and her husband took all the credit for it. He said he did it as he's going around, you know, making money and like she's just kind of like, you know, keeping this whole thing a secret as, you know, they, they're putting on the biggest art fraud in history. And it's just like how she tries to come into her own and try to, you know, figure out how she's going to, you know, get away from this relationship that she's in because she's painted all these paintings over all, you know, all this time and never got any credit for it. And uh, it's just, you know, the dynamic between the husband and the wife and, you know, what she tries to do because of this. Um, I I found this movie to be very entertaining. I didn't really know anything about the story going into it. I just knew it was directed by Tim Burton and the stars that were in it. Like, I, I knew nothing. I don't know. I don't really know anything about the art world, to be 100% honest with you. But this film was very engrossing. Great performances here by Amy Adams and Christoph Waltz. Very well directed by Tim Burton. Very different than any of his other kind of movies that he's done. Like, you know, like Nightmare Before Christmas. And, you know what I mean? Like, all his weird stuff that he's done with Johnny Depp back in the day. This is, like, more like a normal kind of movie movie for him you know there's like little like glimpses in the film like you're like oh that's a Tim Burton moment you know what I mean kind of thing but it's more like a you know like a real Tim, like a real directed movie I don't know how to explain what I'm trying to say here it doesn't feel like a, a fantasy film like Tim Burton does it's like a real movie if you know what I'm trying to say but that's Big Eyes here on Blu-ray highly highly recommend it man I was really invested in the characters and invested in the movie and that doesn't happen a lot these days for me like really you know getting into the movie and getting into the characters and I gotta say this this one really did it really did it for me and that is Everly here on Blu-ray. Um, in this movie, Selma Hayek plays this lady who who got kidnapped from her life, taken away from her daughter and her mother, and you know is forced to sort of live as kind of sort of a slave for this Yakuza mob boss. And uh, now she's just kind of had enough, and she wants to get away, and she kind of like defies this 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 big Yakuza boss, and he's pisses him off to no end and it's her trying to get away from this you know whole life that she sort of got into as soon as soon as she defied uh you know did something bad to the shakuza boss he's gonna he's threatened to take them out and it's her trying to you know figure out how she's gonna save them and i found this movie to be very entertaining and it takes place in this one big like apartment building like in this one room in this apartment building she's trying to get out of but this is surrounded by all these like people trying to kill her because there's a bounty 
bounty on her head. Whoever can take her out will get like a certain amount of money and stuff like that. Very entertaining movie. Very well directed. Very well like paced is what I gotta say here. The great action, great gunfight stuff in here. I don't know. I was I was very very you know surprised by this one. I really did like it. If you guys like Selma Hayek, she's hotter than ever in this movie. And kind of like a badass. You know what I mean? I I, I really dug this movie. I, I can't I can't express it enough of how much it's not like a great masterpiece like you know like Gone with the Wind or anything like that but if you guys love fun action flicks definitely give this one a chance guys that's Everly here on Blu-ray all right guys and next up over here is uh, Always Woodstock here on DVD starring Katie Seagal and Kath uh, what's her name again Alyssa Miller uh, in this movie Alyssa Miller plays this character of Catherine she works at this music label she doesn't really like her job very much she wants to become a singer songwriter herself and get her name out there but yet at the beginning of this film she gets fired from her job and when she goes home she finds out her boyfriend played by Jason Ritter is cheating on her and she's just kind of like down on her luck and not knowing what she want, what she's going to do next until so she finds out that she has this home that she inherited from her family that's in Woodstock, New York and she ends up go, you know, moving there to try to start a new life and figure out what she's going to do with herself and that's pretty much the synopsis of the movie you know, her trying to find herself and her voice you know, that she wants to have in the world um, I thought this movie was really lovely nice uh, nicely acted in here by everyone. I've always really liked Katie Seagal ever since Married with Children and, and I always like to see her in different kind of roles and in here you get her kind of subdued a little bit. Uh, I, I don't know I kind of liked her in here because she plays this lady that's like you know like a famous singer of this small little town and she sings she kind of like sings a couple songs in here one, one song at least. But yeah guys I, I really did kind of dig this film really well acted by Katie Seagal and everyone in the cast. Um, I don't know I thought this movie was light and very enjoyable and uh, next up over here is a film uh, starring John Cryer and Will Sasso and it's called Hit by Lightning here on DVD. Uh, in this movie John Cryer plays this guy who who runs this fast food restaurant. He's like the manager and everything like that. He's he's, he's going bald and he kind of lives with his cats and he, he wants to find love. He's tired of being alone. He goes on this one website one night, you know like like you know like chatter, you know, you know what I mean like one of those uh, you know mat matchmaking sites and stuff like that. I almost said chatterbait. <laughs> I'm weird, but uh, he, he goes on this one site and he gets a hit by this one girl. He's like, oh my god, this one girl wants to meet me. And he goes out there and meets this one girl. And he, she's the most beautiful girl he's ever seen. And he, he's just so happy that they're getting along, that they have so much in common. But yet, she, this, lady, this girl is telling him that she's stuck in this relationship that she wants to get out of, but she can't because the guy that she's with is threaten, threatens to kill her if she, if she leaves him. So it's pretty much uh, her telling John Cryer, I need you to kill my husband if you want to be with me. Um, I thought this movie was a light, light and funny kind of film. It may sound like it's kind of like, you know, really kind of dark. It kind of has its moments like that. But I, I thought it was alright. It wasn't amazing. It didn't blow me away or anything like that. But I've always liked Will Sasso, you know, in, in, in movies and in TV shows and things. I thought I think he has a nice little, a nice presence on screen. And uh, if you guys see this out there, it's, it's, it's not like a, a day one purchase kind of movie. It's one of those ones, if you see it on Netflix or one of your local, you know, video shops, definitely give it a, you know, a look. It, it was kind of entertaining. All right, guys, and next up over here is a documentary called Manny here on DVD. This is a documentary about Manny Pacquiao, the, bo the famous boxer. And it, it just it's a documentary about his life and how he grew up in the Philippines and what he experienced in the Philippines and how he became a boxer back in the day in, in, the, in that time in the Philippines and how he only did it in the beginning to try to, you know, fight to make money to put food on the table for his family and how he became the champion that, you know, he, he became. Um, I found this one to be really kind of entertaining. I'm not a real big boxing fan, but I really got into this documentary. When documentaries are done good, done well, I, you know, I, I can get into whatever the topic is. You know what I mean? Like it could be a, a documentary about bowling, a documentary about arcade games like the King of Kong. If there, if it, you know, if it's something, if it's done well, you know, I, I can really appreciate it. And this was a really well done documentary about the boxer Manny Pacquiao. Check out this documentary here. Very well done. And it also has some special features on here, like, you know, like a bonus the boxing match and Manny at the gym, you know, do training and stuff like that. But it was cool, Manny. And next up over here from Twilight Time, I always, I always like their company. They put out real limited, you know, releases of things. Like this one right here is limited to 3,000, and it's U-Turn here on Blu-ray, starring Sean Penn, uh, Billy Bob Thornton, 
and Jennifer Lopez and a bunch of others. It's a pretty much about this one guy played by Sean Penn. He's a drifter. He's he's he's, he's heading on over to Las Vegas because he owes this, this, these guys a lot of money and he's going there to pay them. But in the middle of nowhere, his car breaks down and he has to stop in this this weird little town in the middle of nowhere to you know to get his car fixed before he can go and pay his debt. And then all the craziness that happens when he's in this small town and how he he, he kind of loses the money that he has to pay these guys before they kill him and these guys are going to be coming down there to kill him and all the craziness that's happening in this town and uh, that's pretty much the synopsis of this movie it's one of Oliver Stone's you know weirdest kind of movies but one's one of his movies that I've always really liked just because it's so weird and quirky you know what I mean and on blu-ray just looks fantastic it, it digitally remastered the picture it looks very very beautiful on blu-ray like all the grain film grain is intact you also get an introduction by Oliver Stone talking about his talking about the film and you also get audio you know audio commentary tracks and stuff like that on here but if you're a fan of uh, Oliver Stone and U-Turn wanted to let you guys all know you can get it on the Twilight Times website right now limited to 3000 all right guys and next up over here is a film that's been remade multiple times once in the 80s once uh, in like what's it called the 2000s with Brendan Fraser and another one with The Rock and that is the original Journey to the Center of the Earth here on Blu-ray this is actually the second release that Twilight Time has put out the original one that came out uh, went out of print and now they, they brought it back out again and this one's limited to 3,000 or 5,000 units here but if you guys don't know what Journey to the Center of the Earth is it's about a group of explorers going down to the center of the earth and seeing what they experience and all the you know, all the cool stuff that they see along the way. I've always liked the story of Journey to the Center of the Earth, just like the creatures. Like in this one, you get like weird iguanas or Komodo dragons or whatever at the end coming out, you know, coming to get you, but like done on like weird, weird kind of green screens and stuff like that. I've always liked watching movies of the day like that because, you know, the special effects have come a long way, you know, since, since the time of this one, that when it came out back in 1959, this one all also stars Pat Boone, who's who you guys all know is a famous uh, you know singer of the day. And uh, this is I don't know, man. I gotta say this this Blu-ray here looks absolutely fantastic. If you're a fan of the film, uh, they went back and uh, did a 4K transfer of the film, so it's just even better than the original release that that, that came out before. And on this Blu-ray here, you get audio commentary track, uh, theatrical trailer. But uh, I, I I recommend it, man. It looks beautiful on Blu-ray. The transfer was amazing on this one. And uh, next up over here is a film from all the films I've always loved. I don't, I know, I know, I might get crap for it, but I don't care. I love Pauly Shore. I love his movies. I still need to see that documentary that was on Showtime about his life and how he, how he's doing now. This one right here is the first time on Blu-ray for Biodome, man. Yeah, there's no. The sad thing is, there's no special features on it, not even a trailer or anything. Cause uh, if you guys don't know what Biodome is, it's about these two guys named Bud and Doyle. They're kind of slackers. They have two really hot girlfriends but their girlfriends are really into like you know helping out the planet by picking up trash and you know being they're kind of environmentally you know conscious but Bud and Doyle are just like you know two bumbling fumbling kind of you know dudes just on their own path doing their own thing until one day they stumble into this thing this uh, place called the biodome which they think is a mall but yeah, yeah it's this big dome where these big these a lot of scientists are coming together to see if they can live in this dome in this place for one year but as soon as they go into this place they go in there and they're stuck in there for a year but they didn't they didn't know that and it's them trying to deal with you know what what they just did and, and deal with their situation that they're in but it, it's always been really really funny like the one thing that always like I always remember from this movie like I, I say it every once in a while too like free mahi mahi free mahi mahi you know like just the craziness that you know uh, Polly Shore just does in this movie like he you know he just says like the craziest stuff and I've, I've always really liked him you know his, his crazy we weasel character that he was yeah he, he, he became famous for on MTV but it, this this transfer of this blu-ray is absolutely outstanding like I said I just wish that they got Polly Shore to do like a commentary you know what I mean like you know he's around He'll, he he could have done it or like you know some sort of like interview or new interview or something but if you guys are a fan of the film and you want to know about the transfer sounds great looks amazing definite a definite upgrade but uh, that's the biodome here on blu-ray man if you're a fan of Polly get this blu-ray and uh, next up over here from Olive Films also is a film I've seen a handful of times back in the day. Always kind of like it. And it's called Cooley High here on Blu-ray. Um, this is a, you know, a film following a couple of friends. I forgot what town they're in. Is it like... It, it, it takes place in the 60s in Chicago. And it's kind of like a slice of life. 
you know, how it was to be black and living in Chicago at the time. And uh, about it follows these group of uh, these, these two friends uh, that have been best friends for years. They're going to school, but they're always ditching school. They're always running out on classrooms, going out on their own little adventures, doing their own crazy thing to find their parents. You know, like doing what you know normal teenagers kind of do. And it just it just follows them around and how one of them has a scholarship to go to a college and the other one doesn't and how they both kind of you know think about that and just all the stuff that happens you know in their lives in this short period of time um, I've always really liked it but I gotta say the transfer on this movie is absolutely amazing also you don't really get any special features on this one either but if you're a fan of the film I just wanted to let you know the blu-rays out now from all the films and uh, next up over here from Comedy Central is a show I've never seen on television, but when I, I got the DVD because I know her stand-up comedy and I'm a fan of hers. And that's the uh, Inside Amy Schumer seasons one and two here on DVD. This is like a like a, like a variety kind of show, kind of like the Chappelle show was, kind of like uh, uh, the, the Kroll show, stuff like that, where uh, Amy Schumer just like, has like little comedy vignettes mixed in with her st her, her live stand-up special. You know, her life stand-up and stuff. It's just kind of, like, mixed in. And you get all the episodes from seasons one and two on here. I just think Amy Schumer's just a very, very funny uh, comedian. Been a, been a fan of hers for a handful of years now. Have, like, one or two of her comedy specials that, that came out on DVD. She's a, she's a good-looking woman, you know what I mean? She's, she's, she's really kind of easy on the eyes. And on this Blu-ray here, you get unaired skits. Un unaired, unaired skits. Uh, Behind-the-scenes featurettes and uh, you know bonus stand-up comedy uh, that you didn't see on on the live broadcast and stuff. But uh, it comes in like a three-disc set here. So if you're a fan of Amy Schumer and you guys want to get her show, check it out on DVD now. All right, guys. And next up from Wellgo USA is Vengeance of an Assassin here on uh, Blu-ray. It's pretty much about these two brothers. One guy, one of them's name's Nate. They both live with their uncle because their parents have you know passed away a long time ago, as as they know and been been told by their uncle but they really want to know what happened to their parents and this you know Nate the older the older brother has been really obsessed with it lately he's been you know haunted by dreams about what really happened to his parents and he wants to know what happened to him and he keeps pestering his uncle who's a drunk and stuff like that and just doesn't really you know, remember or say anything to him. And uh, one day, uh, Nate gets hired uh, to protect this one girl in the town, you know, to try to keep her safe from these crazy guys out on the street. But come to find out that the people that hired him to protect this girl really hired him to, you know, frame him for the murder of this girl. And it's the craziness that he, he has to deal with, with this whole thing and how he gets closer and closer to finding out what really happened to his parents. Um, that's all I can really say about the movie without ruining it for you. But I gotta say, the action sequences were amazing. It's from the action choreographer of On, on Bach, the, on, you know, the first On Bach movie for, with Tony Jaw. This is a Taiwanese film. Looks very amazing on Blu-ray. I was very happy with it, because you guys all know all that kung fu, martial art, you know, kind of movies. And uh, this one right here, I gotta say, was one of the better ones I've seen in the past uh, like year or so. Uh, very, very well done here. And uh, next up over here uh, from Time Life is uh, the best of the Ed Sullivan show here on DVD. This is the sixth disc collection here. They also have like a bigger version of the set on their on their website. It's like over $100. So if you're a super fan of uh, Ed, the Ed Sullivan show, you might want to check out the Time Life website. But uh, on here, you get six discs. Uh, one's featuring like the, the best performances of the Ed Sullivan show, uh, which is, I believe, hosted by Mary Tyler Moore. You also get the 50th anniversary special, which aired on uh, TV back in the day and you also get like the best stand-up you know what I mean like the best uh, comedy bits that you got on the Ed Sullivan show you know when it was on television hosted by um uh, Carol Burnett, I believe. I could, I could be mixing up the two. You know, if you guys don't know what Ed Sullivan Show is, Ed Sullivan Show was a variety show that came on uh, back in 1948 and lasted for 22, 23 years. It was the longest running variety show, uh, you know, ever on on on, C on CBS. Uh, CBS, uh, you know, back in the day. I, well, of course, I wasn't around to see it, you know, when it was on. But this is the show that, you know, got the Beatles put on the map in America when they performed their song, you know, on Ed Sullivan show back in the day. It really blew, you know, blew them up even bigger than they already were in Liverpool and stuff like that. But if you guys are a fan of the Ed Sullivan show and variety shows in general, like you get, you know, cool stand-up uh, comedy routines in here by Phyllis Stiller, Rodney Dangerfield, you know, the guy that doesn't get any respect. 
respect. You know what I mean? Uh, Flip Wilson, you get a whole bunch of really cool stand-up routines in here. But I just want to let you guys all know the best of the Ed Sullivan Show is out now on DVD. Check out the Time Life website. Check this one out. I, I, I dig it. Especially for the stand-up comedy stuff, because I, 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 I dig that the most. And uh, next up over here from Lionsgate is uh, another biopic film. They've been putting out a lot of them, like the Saved by the Bell one, the Brittany Murphy, the Brittany Murphy story one. And this is their new one called Whitney, uh, the biopic story of Whitney Houston. Um, but the thing is about this one, I thought it was going to be like following her life from like a little girl and how she became the singer that she, be you know, that, that she became. But it, it kind of, the movie just sort of starts right where she right right when she meets Bobby Brown for the first time and how they start you know strike up their relationship and then the dynamic between the two and how Whitney Houston was like really famous and Bobby Brown really wanted that kind of fame that his wife had and just the way he kind of dealed you know dealed with all that and stuff like that and that's that's all the movie this movie really is you know what i mean it just follows that that part of her life but uh, i just thought this one was just kind of ugh you know what i mean like it wasn't horrible it wasn't amazing it was just kind of like all right, you know what I mean. Like I wasn't, I wasn't really pleased with it. Um, it's directed by Angela Bassett, and uh, I don't know, man. It was just kind of like a one-time kind of watch thing. You know what I mean? Like I wasn't really impressed by it at all. It's called Power Ranger Super Mega Force here, The Perfect Storm on DVD. Uh, this set right here features five episodes from the Super Mega Force uh, series that's on television. And uh, in, in this set here, one of the one of the first episodes you get on here is uh, featuring the Sixth Ranger, which is I think his name is Orion. I've never seen I've never seen his character before on uh, on the thing, so I don't watch the show on television. But uh, he has these powers to like morph and fuse different Ranger powers together and use them at the same time as he's fighting the the evil alien armada that's taken over the you know taken over the city and uh, it's just you know the basic power ranger stuff and how they go and fight the bad guys and you know f you know save the save the planet and stuff but i just i just thought it was kind of cool that like, the new power ranger that's part of this group now has this like the, the new ability to do to do that and i think it was kind of cool you know what i mean to, like mix the green ranger from mighty morphin with like you know a wild force ranger and like have his suit split down the middle and taking taking out the bad guys but uh yeah you get five episodes on here of Super Mega Force. Just wanted to let you guys all know about that one. It, 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 it's a family film that I, I kind of wanted to see just for the hell of it because it, it has, this, has it stars the voice of uh, John Lovitz as a dog and it's called Bark Ranger here on DVD. Um, it's pretty much about this this young boy. He lives with his parents and their parent his parents are like you know. Uh, you know, forest rangers, you know what I mean? They, they, that's what their job is. And he's been living in this small town, you know, for, for many years. And now their, their, their jobs are being taken away from his parents. And he needs to figure out what he's going to do to try to keep him and his family in the town that he's grew up in. And uh, he ends up going on this mission to try to find this gold that's in this, in this town somewhere. So maybe if he finds this gold, he'll save the town. But in the meantime, there's these bumbling, fumbling kind of criminal types that are in the, in the forest too, looking for this same thing and it's just the craziness that ensues you know with the with the kids and the the crazy bad guys and stuff like that i found this movie to be light and enjoyable i like movies when like animals are talking kind of like homer bound you know kind of style stuff i know in homer bound you just hear the voices of sally field and michael j fox but in this one you get like their mouth moving i, I don't know i, I kind of dig that kind of stuff sometimes you know what i mean all right guys and these last two up here i can i couldn't really get into them whatsoever called i really hate my ex here on DVD. The only thing good about this movie, it stars one of the guys from Cool Runnings. You know, the, the main guy, you know, Zenka, you dead? Yeah, man. Not, not Dougie Doug, but the, you know, like the main guy that's working with John Candy and, uh, Cool Runnings. But this movie, it starts off with this one lady going on this internet chat site. One, this one chat site that has to do with, uh, relationships and relationship problems and people trying to get over their, you know, their breakups and things like that. And this one lady is on there and she's on there about to tell her story. And she's telling her story about how she kidnapped her, her boyfriend along with her, you know, two other friends that kidnapped their boyfriends also. And the people that are listening to the story or like not believing it they don't think it's true but the thing is it goes from flashbacks from when they actually did that and kidnapped their boyfriends and kind of like you know tied them up and put gags in their mouth and stuff like that and just try to put them in their place but uh, i don't know it just it just felt cheap and kind of just kind of boring you know what i mean like I, I really couldn't get into it i was really trying to but i couldn't but as i really hate my ex here on dvd i say pass on that one guys 
And this next one up too is just kind of ugh. And it's called Wingman Inc. here on DVD. It's about this one guy when he goes out to these clubs with his friends. He's he's always helping, you know, his friends are always getting girls because he's like the best wingman out there. Yet his friends are like, you know what, dude? We should make this a business. We should make, you know, you should charge people for your services to help them get women. And he decides to go, oh, all right. You know what I mean? Because he just went through a breakup with his girlfriend, the one that he was just about to propose to. And he's kind of down on his luck and needs to figure out something to do. So he starts this business up with his friends by charging other men, you know, to help them get women and stuff like that. But yet he meets this other woman while he's out on a mission with helping somebody, you know, that he falls in love with and stuff. But yet this woman that he's seeing, she's doing the complete opposite of what he's doing. He, she's helping women get men and stuff like that. So it, it, they don't know what, you know, what's going to happen when they, you know, find out their secret and stuff. And that's pretty much it. This just sets and some of the acting is just really bad in, in this movie. The writing is kind of t terrible. Especially, like I said, the sets. When they go to, like, nightclubs, it just looks really kind of like... Did you guys even try? Did anybody have a, a set designer? But that's Wingman Inc. here on DVD. I really couldn't get into that one. But guys, that's all I have to show you guys today for my DVD Blu-ray update. That's going over to my computer table, and I'll show you guys what I got from eBay. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, on to the unbubbling portion of this video now. I got this package in the mail, and uh, I just wanted to crack into this one, baby. Um, I know I know exactly what this is. It's something I um, ordered off of eBay, or I bid on it on eBay and stuff like that, and I won the auction. But it's time to unbubble this now, baby. Let's get into this bad boy. That's a big set right here, man. Something I'm very kind of excited about here. This may be a quick unbubbling, but hey. What can a brother do? What I got here is All in the Family, the complete series here on DVD, man. I, I've always kind of liked the sitcoms, especially especially sitcoms from this era, like like this one. Then it spun off to the Jefferson Show. I love Jeffersons. I love Good Time, Sanford and Son. You know, like all those kind of shows from that time period. And I saw this on eBay. And at first, for the, the the first bid, of course, was like a dollar or something like that. And then it gradually went up, and I got it for like what forty five bucks. Um, seasons one through eight, or no, one through nine here, plus a bonus disc of uh, of content. Um, if you guys don't know this show with Archie Bunker and his wife Edith, you know what I mean. Just the, the craziness that happens in their show, and uh, I think this was the very first show on television. I could be wrong that ever that a character ever said the N word on television. You know what I mean? Like, and it was like a big controversial thing because Archie Bunker, the main character of the show. Um, was like a like sort of like a racist against black people and um, you know anybody that wasn't white you know what I mean like that's what I kind of liked about uh, sitcoms of like the 60s and 70s and 80s or whatever um, they deal they they dealt with a lot of different subjects that I don't see a lot of uh, you know sitcoms nowadays deal with you know what I mean like what sitcom you know these days say the n word the n word on TV or like you know or like you know anything anything kind of like that. I think, you know, network television might be a little bit kind of scared when it comes to stuff like that these days. But back then, you know, television was, you know, a little bit more raw than, you know, than it is today. But it's kind of cool. It has a, a little set like this right here. And it has, of course, the synopsis on some of the special features on the back. But it looks like the, the box is all kind of crunched up over here. It's kind of kind of messed up. I don't know what, what I'm going to do about that. I might have to, I don't know if I'm going to contact the, the seller and ask him if they have another one because I like my stuff to be in pristine condition and you can just like see the ridge. It's all kind of like just like someone like dropped it or some shit. You know what I mean? But it's the, the complete series here of All in the Family. I already have the complete series of Jeffersons that came out that Shot Factory put out. But I just want to come by and show you what I what I got off eBay here. But guys, thank you so much for watching this video today. Please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys next time. Orders unite.